Hello everyone. Welcome to another tutorial. Today we will learn how to add nozzle flexibility. To add nozzle flexibility, first model up to the nozzle flange and then model the flange using the rigid element and then the nozzle projection. To be specific, you have to put the nozzle flexibility in the nozzle projection uh, point. So I am here uh, model the nozzle position and add the nozzle flex just double click on the nozzle flex and 175 is our nozzle node and you have to put the vessel node here suppose I am putting here like uh, 1000 is the vessel node and there is direction cosines direction cosines is the uh, uh, direction cosines of the longitudinal direction of the vessel here I am assuming VY1 which is uh, the vertical vessel and you have to specify all the vessel details um, here OD wall thickness and outer diameter uh, path thickness and all that uh, I am just here uh, assuming a uh, you know, vessel material and then you can add also displacement you have to add the thermal displacement at the uh, vessel node I am here like assuming some arbitrary values and you can show the displacement is added here and uh, now you can add a nozzle limit check nozzle limit check is the allowable values of the uh, uh, nozzle which you can obtain from the equipment uh, GA and here I am choosing the comparison method absolute and here are uh, three axes A, B and C and the reference, reference vector is the uh, vessel longitudinal direction and which uh, have to be perpendicular direction of the pipe element and here the axis A is the direction of pipe element which is here X and uh, B is the longitudinal direction of the vessel and C is the another uh, perpendicular direction I am here putting the level values of forces and moments and you can uh, see here and now that is done and now suppose you don't know the thermal displacement of the nozzle then uh, as I show you in my previous video you have to go to the equipment fixed point I am showing you here just delete the displacement and I have to model up to the equipment fixed point uh, using the weightless rigid uh, suppose here I am putting 1500 and double click on the rigid and do not put any rigid weight it should be a weightless rigid and the point is anchor okay now it is done and let's see okay it is fine and let's run the error check okay there is a error uh, which is that note 175 and nozzle has been specified okay okay what I have done oh I have to enter the uh, stiffener distance uh, let's put some values like uh, 500 and 500 and let's run error check again and here is another error oh okay okay the rigid element should continue from the vessel node okay uh, let's do that our vessel node is 1000 so the next element should start from the 1000 okay now uh, delete that element okay let's let's delete that element and remodel it now our vessel node is 1000 and I am modeling from the 1000 node okay let's continue and it should be 1000 and suppose it is 1010 and dx 
1500 it should be rigid and the point should be anchored now let's run the error check and oh there is an uh, additional bend uh, 130 to 150 let's delete that bend okay and our nozzle flexibility is added now it is fine so thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe if you like this video